Um, okay, so I'm going to send this to you guys. Six foot? 5'11"? Oh, I'll send this to you, Dev, actually. You can share it. 5'10", 5'11"? There we go. Something there. If your legs, if it meant you could be taller, for some, the answer is yes. Check it out. Being short is a common frustration for many, but for a long time, there weren't many realistic solutions. Limb lengthening procedures have been oh, oh my gosh. extremely invasive and mainly reserved for those with disabilities or even uneven limbs. But now, doctors are offering elective lengthening procedures so that patients add a few inches to their height. Oh are these God. procedures the future of cosmetic surgery, or are they too good to be true? Here with oh, us damn. today is orthopedic surgeon and founder of the Limb Plastics Institute, Dr. Kevin Devaparshad, along with his patient, David. Thank you Welcome. both for Welcome. being here. Thank, Thank you for coming. Thank you. As a patient who's had this procedure, what motivated you to do it? Uh, it's definitely a, a confidence booster for me. I mean, I definitely wanted to get taller. I started off around a little over 5'7". I was able to get to 5'9", which is the industry standard for, for males in the uh, U.S. That's what Emma wants. So almost two inches. <laughs> I haven't gone through it. No regrets. That's what I, I don't have any regrets. I, I probably regretted it a, a, a gazillion times going through it. It's it's definitely, oh. you know, it is it is a painful procedure. Oof. Can you walk us through He regretted what it going through it. Like he must have been in agony. Because again, part of it <laughs> That's is what he cost, said. part of it is safety, and then part of it's the recovery. Yeah, so I mean, um, within the second day, I'm out of the hospital bed, and I'm doing laps around the hospital with my walker. Oh. The third day, I'm, I'm released. I start physical therapy. And within about two or three weeks, I'm off the walker and, and I'm walking. After about you know two months of doing that, then you go into a phase of healing. So it takes a long time for the, the bone to actually harden. So you do a lot of visits back to the office, do a lot of x-rays, checking that out. And then once it's solidified in, in, in the legs, solidified. you go back in for a procedure where he'll remove, the, remove it. That's Sorry. an outpatient procedure. It's, it's hardly any pain at all. Oh, remove within a couple remove weeks, it. I was Back to normal. Yeah. Can you explain exactly how this procedure works? Sure. So from a simplistic standpoint, um, essentially we're just going in uh, either to the thigh bone, which is the femur, or the lower leg bone, the tibia. Oh, you so can do. Separating either. that bone by cutting it, placing this implant in position. Uh, that responds to a remote control that slowly lengthens the tissue. Remote uh, control. And then patients oh. can you know, become three to six inches taller, just depending on you know if they get one or two procedures. Uh, pretty that explains the radiological. Uh, guided by X-ray, so we do the entire surgery uh, via X-ray. Right. So it's four to six very small incisions that we either place around the thigh or the lower leg. Oh. What we end up doing, and I'll just use this model here, uh, we we try to make a little window into the bone itself, so we gain access to the tunnel of the bone. Uh, then what we do is we actually place the device actually into the actual tunnel. Holy uh, shit. Prior to that, we are separating the bone through a small incision. We then lock it or transfix it with the screws at the top and the bottom of the actual implant. Oh, right. Then that actually, that nail actually responds to an external remote control that the patients get. And they can lengthen approximately a millimeter a day. So it takes about 25 days or so to get an inch. Generally, patients are up walking the same day of surgery uh, with the therapist, uh, or you know they'll start walking the next day. Uh, it takes a couple of weeks to return back to uh, your general activities, and probably a couple of months before you sort of realize your final length. And then once, if they someone successfully goes through this, are their bones strong? Like, what, how does this impact their ability to say participate in sports and their usual gait? The more length that you try to achieve, it can impact or depreciate some of your high-level functioning, like your athletic ability. So what I generally tell patients is that you know you're getting the height or you're trading it for something. It's not free, and uh, and that is potentially some depreciation in that athletic ability. Long term, is there any data because this is so new in terms of okay, does this increase load on? a hip joint, which then may increase load on the spine for your patients. Sure, um, and some we have some data. We've looked at, for instance, the geometry around joints and looking to see if there's any changes in that. And we actually don't see much changing around that. Liar. The joints themselves around the hip, the knee. Yeah. Um, so we do have a lot of information and data and see that there Guilty. doesn't look to be any sort of long-term complications. And we have data from that from children, from Why trauma patients. Why would he patients. tell so you that there's issues for this time makes Now, money. though, with newer technology, newer surgical mm. ability, we're allowing patients to look at this as an elective procedure to actually be taller.
how much would I, uh, a case like this cost? Right, so this would be covered by insurance from the cosmetic perspective. Uh, the general price starts at about 76000 oh! And half of that cost is really the implant, because the implants are extremely expensive. $76,000? So, did you say seven, seventy-six? Yeah. Yeah. Was that before? Was that before implants, he said, or was that after? Yeah, before implants, and then the implants cost money as and well. the expense. He said that's the expensive part, which, he, which yeah. makes me no, think... he said most of that cost is the implants. Oh, more, most of the cost is the implants, I think. Oh, the implants. So, okay. Word. 